Hello students, I am Dr. G. S. Sodi. Today I bring you the first learning episode in B.Sc. Forensic Science on an important unit of paper Forensic Toxicology which means classification of drugs. In this episode, we will learn and discuss about drugs and their classification. Drugs are classified on the basis of their use, on the basis of their origin and on the basis of the effect they produce. So, we will be studying the classification of drugs on the basis of these parameters. Finally, we will wind up this module with a conclusion. Dear students, let us have a look at the module that we are going to learn today. Module number 1, introduction to drugs. Module number 2, classification of drugs and under this we will study the basis of their use, the basis of their origin, the basis of the effects they produce. Then finally, module number 3 is conclusion. Introduction to Drugs According to World Health Organization, a drug is any substance that is used or proposed to be used to modify or explore physiological structures or pathological states for the benefit of the recipient. Or it can be said that a drug is a substance which may have medicinal intoxicating performance, argumentation or other effects when taken or inserted into a human or animal body and which is not considered a food or a food supplement. Drugs are defined differently by various drug control laws, government regulations as medicine or on the basis of their usage. The definition of drug in pharmacology can be stated as a chemical substance used in the treatment, cure, prevention or diagnosis of disease or otherwise used to enhance physical or mental well-being. For chronic disorders, drugs can be prescribed for a limited duration or on a regular basis. Hallucinogens and opioids are the examples of recreational drugs, which are chemical substances that affect the central nervous system. These types of drugs are abused for distinguished beneficial effects on consciousness, perception, behavior and personality. Addiction and habituation is the beginning of the drug of abuse. Drugs which are taken from outside by the organisms can be usually distinguished from endogenous biochemicals. For instance, the hormone insulin is synthesized by pancreas within the body but acts as a drug when given from outside. Drug abuse is a patent use of a substance in which the user ingests the substance in quantity or with means neither approved nor supervised by healthcare specialists. It is also known as substance of abuse. Abuse of drugs is not restricted to mood transforming or psychoactive drugs. When an activity is performed as in the case of anabolic steroids which are used for performance enhancement in sports and muscle gain against the rules and policies of the matter, then it is known as substance abuse. That is why psychoactive and mood altering substances are not the only kind of drugs of abuse. Abusing the illicit drugs like stimulants, depressants, narcotics, hallucinogens, cannabis, even thinner paint and glues are also considered as types of drug abuse. Problems like impulsive control and impulsive behavior also come under the category of drug abuse. Drugs like alcohol, amphetamines, barbiturates, benzodiazepines, cocaines, methaculones and opioids are associated with the term drug abuse. Using and abusing these drugs may lead to criminal penalty 
adding to physical, social, psychological harm, each fully depending on local jurisdiction. Many cases are there where criminal or antisocial behavior are seen when the person is under the dominance of a drug. Even personality changes in individuals may occur due to long time use of these drugs. Drugs may be classified in three ways. The first is on the basis of their use. The second is on the basis of their origin. The third is on the basis of the effects they produce. Let us now discuss it one by one. The first one, on the basis of their use. On the basis of their use, different drugs can be classified into following two heads, therapeutic drugs and psychoactive drugs. Although both of these categories often overlap, but due to the specific usage and wide range, psychoactive drugs are treated as a distinct class. Therapeutic drugs, they are the ones which have healing or preventive properties in relation to certain diseases or are administered to enable medical diagnosis. The drugs which are in common therapeutic use may be classified chiefly into the following four categories. Analgesics and antipyretics. An analgesic is a type of drug that relieves pain. On the other part, an antipyretic is a type of drug that is used to reduce the temperature of the body. Aspirin and paracetamol are commonly used drugs in this category. Aspirin, chemically it is acetyl salicylic acid, is a white crystalline powder having an acidic taste and is used commonly in houses for pains, aches, etc. Even small doses of these drugs may prove to be fatal due to idiosyncrasy. However, minimum fatal dose is about 5 to 10 grams. Paracetamol, that is acetaminophen, is a metabolite of phenacetine and is widely used these days in place of aspirin. Ingestion of 20 tablets of 50 milligrams each within 3 to 5 days is proved to be fatal. Antihistaminics, these are the drugs which antagonize the action of histamine. These are commonly used in allergic disorders and other conditions like common cold. The common preparations include promethazine hydrochloride that is phenargin, diphenyldriamine that is benadryl, chlorocyclazine that is histantine, antazoline that is antistine, etc. Its fatal dose is about 1 gram. Antidepressants, these are the drugs which are generally used in psychiatric disorders to treat the endogenous depression. These drugs have an initial sedative effect which is followed by an antidepressant effect within a week or more. Commonly used antidepressant drugs are imiprimine, amitriptyline, etc. Tranquilizers. A tranquilizer is a kind of drug that brings tranquility in an individual without the impairment of high thinking facilities or inducement of sleep. For reducing or compressing of anxiety and tension, tranquilizers like reserpine and chloropromazine are useful for mental patients. Tranquility is a feeling of calmness and tension free. Psychoactive drugs. A psychoactive drug or psychopharmaceutical or psychotropic drug is a chemical substance that acts principally upon the central nervous system where it affects brain functioning as a result of modification of perception, mood, consciousness, cognition and behavior. These substances may be used recreationally to purposefully change one's consciousness or for ritual, spiritual or shamanic purposes like anesthetics analgesics or for the treatment of psychiatric disorders. 
these types of psychoactive drugs also have therapeutic activity. Psychoactive drugs bring about changes in mood and consciousness which the user finds pleasant that is the feeling of euphoria or advantages that is aggravated state of mind and are thus reinforcing. Despite health risks and neglecting consequences, many psychoactive substances are misused or abused that is used excessively with continuous use of some substances psychological and physical dependence may develop. This is called addiction. Many governments worldwide post restrictions on drug production and sales in an attempt to decrease drug abuse due to misuse and physical dependency on drugs. Classification. Psychoactive substances are used by human beings for varied reasons. Social sleep aids and social drinking are some of the examples. World's largest consumption of psychoactive substance is caffeine, but unlike other drugs, it is unregulated and legal in almost all jurisdictions. According to pharmacological effects in the body, psychoactive drugs are divided into different categories. Generally used psychoactive drugs are narcotics, stimulants, hallucinogens and depressants. Let us discuss these one by one. Narcotics first. The term originated from Greek word narcotikos that means a state of lethargy. This group comprises of substances that act on the central nervous system and bring relief from discomfort and produce sleep. The origin of most narcotics is opium, a sticky milky juice obtained from unripe pod of poppy. Opium, morphine, heroin, codeine, synthetic opiates are some of the examples. Morphine is obtained from raw opium. It is normally administered using injection by hypodermic needle. It results in euphoric state with sleepy and relaxed appearance of the user. It is generally three to five times stronger than opium. Heroin, that is diacetyl morphine, is a white crystalline powder derived by adding two acetyl groups to morphine which is found in opium. Heroin is impure form and is known as brown sugar. It is 10 to 15 times more effective than morphine. It may be either injected or sniffed to cause similar effects as that of opium and heroin but with higher magnitude. Codine is also a byproduct of morphine but is less effective as analgesic. It acts as a base in many pain relievers and cuff remedies. Stimulants or they are also called uppers consist of substances that stimulate the mind, wake one up and create euphoria that is a feeling of well-being but do not affect perception. These drugs are also referred to as speed. Examples of stimulants are amphetamine, methamphetamines, caffeine, nicotine, cocaine, etc. Amphetamine. Amphetamine or its derivative methylamphetamine may be injected directly into the bloodstream through intravenous injection. The desire for a more intense experience is the chief motive behind this route of administration. First sensation of flash or rush initiates followed by high degree of player euphoria that produces hyperactivity with a feeling of clarity of vision as well as hallucinogens. After the effect wears off, the individual passes through a period of exhaustion and may sleep continuously for one or two days. Cocaine is also a potent stimulant that produces similar effects as that of amphetamines, namely increased alertness accompanied by suppression of hunger and fatigue. It is generally sniffed 
and is absorbed into the body by the mucous membrane of the nose. One other form of cocaine which is quite popular is crack. It is manufactured by heating the mixture of cocaine, baking soda and water. It is also snorted and produces similar effects like cocaine. Hallucinogens. These include psychedelics, dissociatives and delirinitants. This category comprises all those substances that produce distinct alteration in normal thought process, perceptions and mood. There are a number of substances with varying chemical compositions that have hallucinogenic properties. Examples are LSD that is lysergic acid diethylamide, PCP, DMT, mescaline, psilocybin, etc. LSD is synthesized from lysergic acid, a substance derived from ergot, which is a type of fungus that attacks certain types of grain. This is a very potent drug that is only 25 milligrams is sufficient to start clear visual hallucinogens and that may last for about 12 hours. This drug produces noticeable changes in mood leading to laughing and crying at the slightest provocation. Feeling of anxiety and tension always accompanies LST use. PCP is synthesized by quite a simple chemical process and is thus more very easily available. PCP is frequently mixed with other drugs like amphetamine or LSD and is sold as a powder called angel dust or capsules or tablets or as a liquid. The drug is smoked, ingested or sniffed. Marijuana is an example of a psychoactive drug that combines properties of each of these groups. Cannabis plant that is charas, bhang, ganja or hashish are the depressants which include sedatives, hypnotics and narcotics. This category consists all of the sleep inducing, calmative, anxiety reducing, anesthetizing substances which induce perceptual changes like dream sequences and also often bring feelings of euphoria. Examples of depressants are alcoholic beverages, barbiturates, benzodiazepines, etc. Like alcohol, barbiturates act on central nervous system to suppress its vital functions so as to relax, create a feeling of well-being and produce sleep. Barbiturates are usually administered by mouth. The average sedative dose is about 10 to 70 milligrams. There are about 25 barbiturate derivatives. Then we come to the basis of the origin in classification. Based on their origin, drugs can be classified into following three categories. Natural, semi-synthetic and synthetic. Natural drugs are those which are derived from plants and require little or no processing at all. Examples are cannabis, opium, coca paste, semi-synthetic. These drugs are produced by subjecting natural drugs to some chemical processes. Examples are heroin and cocaine. Synthetic drugs are prepared through chemical processes. Example is methquinoline, amphetamine type stimulants, diazepam, etc. Most of the drugs of abuse fall either under semi-synthetic or synthetic category of drugs classification. Next is the classification on the basis of effects they produce. Based on the effects they produce, drugs can be classified into following subcategories. One, stimulants, two, depressants, three, hallucinogens, four, narcotics and fifth, anabolic steroids. The first one, stimulants. Stimulants are psychoactive drugs that induce temporary improvement in either mental or physical functions or both. 
Due to their rendering characteristics up filling, stimulants are also occasionally referred to as uppers. This category comprises of substances that wake one up, stimulates the mind and may even cause euphoria but do not affect perception. Stimulants are also referred in terminology of speed. Stimulants have a marked contrast to that of depressants or downers which decrease mental or physical function or both. Therefore, both stimulants and depressants are considered to be functioning opposite. As stimulants speed up mental and physical processes in the body, they can be used in the treatment of certain medical conditions. This property of stimulants also make them attractive to recreational drug users. These medications have many adverse side effects and there is a high potential for addiction associated with a risk of destroying their mental and physical health. Examples of stimulants are amphetamines, methamphetamines, caffeine, nicotine, cocaine, etc. Symptoms include acute intoxication like euphoria, increased motor and speech activity, increased wakefulness and suppression of appetite. Symptoms of chronic intoxication include sleep problem, loss of appetite, mood swings, rapid and irregular heartbeat. Withdrawal symptoms include no massive physiological failure, disturbed sleep, moderate to severe depression and extreme fatigue. Second is depressants. Depressants also known as downers include sedative narcotics and hypnotics. This classification includes all the calmative sleep inducing, anxiety reducing, anesthetizing substances which sometimes induce perceptual changes as dream images and also often evoke feelings of euphoria. Depressants often referred to as central depressants are psychoactive drugs that temporarily reduce neurotransmission levels resulting in retardation in arousal or stimulation in either mental or physical functions or both. The effects that depressants generally exert may include pain relief, sedation, perceptive or memory impairment as well as in some instances euphoria muscle relaxation, lowered blood pressure, dissociation, respiration, depression, anticonvulsant effects and even complete anesthesia or death at high doses. Due to their rendering a characteristic low feeling, depressants are also occasionally referred to as downers. Depressants have a marked contrast to that of stimulants or uppers which boost up mental or physical function or both. So both of these are considered to be functionally opposite. As depressants calm down the mental and physical processes in body, they can be useful in the treatment of certain medical conditions. But this property of certain drugs also makes them attractive to recreational drug users. Examples of depressants are alcoholic beverages, barbiturates, benzodiazepines, etc. Symptoms include acute intoxication, slurred speech and blurred vision, relief from anxiety and tension, euphoria, poor motor coordination, impaired reasoning and concentration and sedation. Symptoms of chronic intoxication include fatigue, respiratory impairments, attention deficit, deteriorated memory and judgment, sleep disorders and depression. Withdrawal symptoms include insomnia, irritability and restlessness, tremors, delirium treatments, hallucinogens and convulsions. Hallucinogens, psychoactive drugs which induce psychedelic, dissociative and delirium come under the category of hallucinogens. 
Hallucinogens comprise all those substances that produce noticeable alteration in normal thought processes, perceptions and mood without causing major disturbances in the autonomic nervous system. There are a number of substances with varying chemical compositions that have hallucinogenic properties. Perceptual alterations can take the form of illusions, synesthesis or hallucinogens. An illusion is the result of misinterpretation of an actual experience while synesthesians are sensory misperceptions for example hearing, color or seeing sounds. Both require external stimuli for their institution. Hallucinations differ from them in this important aspect since they are perceptual alterations without any external stimulation whatsoever. Hallucinations may be visual, auditory, olfactory, gustatory or tactile in nature. Most hallucinogens induce visual or auditory hallucinations. A few cause tactile or olfactory manifestations. Drugs with hallucinogenic properties have an obvious deleterious effect on driving. Inability to distinguish illusion from reality results in poor decision making and consequently poorer driving. Drugs such as psilocybe mushrooms, mescaline, LSD, ketamine and PCP can produce fully formed hallucinations, seeing of objects, shapes or individuals that are not present and synesthesis or blending of sensory information such as seeing sounds or hearing colors. Ketamine and its psychomotric effects on driving have been evaluated. Many other drugs can produce milder hallucinations including cannabis and stimulants as noted earlier. Methylene dioxy substituted amphetamines such as methylene dioxy, methamphetamine, MDMA, MDA or methylene dioxy amphetamine that is MDEA can also produce hallucinations particularly tactile ones that enhance sensitivity to touch. Examples are LST, PCP, DMT, mescaline, psilocybin, etc. Symptoms. Symptoms of acute intoxication include mood swings, distorted senses, hallucinations and depressionalization. Symptoms of chronic intoxication include flashback and LSD psychosis. Then fourth is narcotics. The term narcotic is derived from Greek word narcotikos that means a state of lethargy. This category of drugs consists of substances that act on central nervous system and bring relief from pain and produce sleep. Opium is a direct extract obtained from poppy plant which belongs to the family of Papaveraceae and is a highly addictive narcotic drug. The latex that seeps from the poppy plant is collected by scraping and dehydrated to obtain a glutinous yellowish brown element which is bitter in taste. Poppy plant grows well in India but its cultivation is strictly banned. However, it is only permitted for the pharmaceutical purposes like in the manufacture of vital drugs such as morphine, codeine and pethidine after obtaining a license from central government. Unfortunately, a significant quantity of opium is channeled clandestinely into the global trafficking racket which feeds the illicit drug trade flourishing in western countries. 
The chief active component of opium is an alkaloid widely known as morphine. The latest comprises of the systematically associated analgesic opiate like codeine and thebine and also the non-analgesic alkaloids such as papaverin and nosacapine. Opium contains approximately 12 percent of morphine which is treated chemically to create heroin for unlawful drug trade. As heroin is less bulky, this makes it easier to smuggle. Heroin is potent approximately twice more as compared to morphine. The manufacturing of opium itself has not been changed from the ancient times. By prejudiced breeding of the poppy plant, the component of the phenanthrene alkaloids like morphine, codeine and to a smaller degree theabine has been greatly increased. Examples are opium, morphine, heroin, codeine, synthetic opiates, etc. Symptoms of acute intoxication include euphoria, drowsiness and apathy, impaired reasoning and overdose of heroin can cause convulsions, coma and death. Withdrawal symptoms include feeling of being unwell, persistent body pain and insomnia. Fifth are the anabolic steroids. Anabolic steroids also known as anabolic androgenic steroids that is AAS increase the protein synthesis within the cells which results in the buildup of cellular tissue that is anabolism especially in muscles. A steroid is a chemical substance derived from cholesterol. The human body has a number of significant steroid hormones, estrogen and progesterone in the female and cortisol and testosterone in the male. Catabolic steroids break down tissue and anabolic steroids build up tissues. Androgenic anabolic steroids build bone mass and muscles primarily by stimulating the muscles and bone cells to make new proteins. Athletes principally use anabolic steroids to enhance muscle strength by encouraging new muscle growth. The male sex hormones are similar to anabolic steroids like testosterone. They enhance males reproductive and secondary sex characteristics, hair growth, thickening of the vocal cords etc. By abusing these steroids, athletes can train longer and harder at any given time. Anabolic steroids are mostly testosterones that is male sex hormones and its derivatives. Examples of anabolic steroids include testosterone, androstenedione that is andro, dehydroapinoestrone that is DHEA, dihydrotestosterone Sterone that is DHT, clostibol, nendrolone, etc. Signs and symptoms of steroid abuse are violent behavior, depression, inflated self esteem, extreme mood swings, paranoid jealousy, extreme irritability, delusions, and impaired judgment. A drug is a substance which may have medicinal, intoxicating, performance, argumenting or other effects when taken or inserted into a human or animal body and which is not considered a food or a food supplement. Drugs have been systematically classified depending on the origin, use and effects they produce. Most of the drugs are used for recreational purposes and this leads to drug abuse. With all this information, here we come to the end of today's lecture. Do keep in mind what we discussed today. I will be back with one or more lectures in this series. If you want to learn more and enhance your knowledge, you may log on to our website 
dot cec dot nic dot in for mcqs quizzes lors etc thank you for your time today i'll see you in the next lecture have a great day